good morning. Right, well I've come out for a walk up Cadaridris today, in the beautiful Welsh mountain in the middle of Wales, near Macuntleth and Dolgethley. It's a little bit dark at the moment, but uh, I would have filmed earlier, but it was so dark and there was so much noise from the waterfalls, I don't think you've heard me, so starting from here, we're going to head up towards the Lynn Lin Cow and see what we can see from there. the fork in the path now I need to take. Um, I'm going to be going left here and do the circuit but this is a point I'll join on the way back down so after this it's all uphill and hopefully some very nice views. Well it's an absolutely beautiful morning. I think I picked the best day of the weekend by far it was raining torrentially yesterday. Today clear skies all the way. Well the sun's coming up behind me now it's about five minutes after sunrise and it's just starting to catch the horseshoe of mountains, which is Cader Idris. What a fantastic morning. I'm not quite in the sun yet and there's absolutely no wind on me. Well, this is the view I came for, really. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful lake. Lynn Cow. Apologies for the pronunciation. For the Welsh people, if you could please let me know in the comments field what the actual pronunciation is, I'd be very grateful. I like to get these things right. But what a stunning morning. The sun's been up about 20 minutes. It's behind me, thankfully, so I'm not casting a shadow. I'm going to set myself up now and take a picture of this beautiful scene. minutes or so shooting but beautiful location as I said before. I don't think I've got anything particularly sort of earth shattering or really good um, there's not much uh, you can do apart from just shoot what's in front of you and I think it'll come out really nice in Lightroom so I'm going to move on now I've packed up and the sun is really really strong into my eyes as you might be able to see and I'm going to now head up towards the ridge and I'm going to make my way around the horseshoe all the way around 360 degrees and back on myself so off we go Now, that's a view worth getting up early for. My goodness, that's absolutely beautiful. Oh, 
not too far from the top now, thank goodness. So that's my next point of call, Pendergather. I think that's the highest peak on the walk, or maybe the second highest. Anyway, that's where I'm going to stop and have a break and have something to eat. I've got some sandwiches, so really important keep myself fed because uh, it has been quite a slog up for a couple of hours. So let's crack on, probably about 25 minutes up there and I'll be done. Well, I hope you can see that's, that's quite a view behind me. <laughs> I don't want to get any closer, but uh, what a terrific place. <laughs> well, I'm at the top now. Uh, gonna stop for something to eat and catch my breath. Got a wonderful view now down to the down to the lake in the horseshoe. I thought this was the highest point of the walk, but sadly, uh, that one over there is higher and it's in the mist. So there's a bit of a slog up to that one, but never mind. Something to eat first, and then I'll be on my way. Well, I'm at the top now. A uh, bit of a walk, but I've made it. The view behind me is Barmouth and the Maudach Estuary. A um, bit of mist blowing in behind me, so I may actually be losing visibility in a few minutes if it carries on like this. I have a very, very gentle walk along the ridge coming up next, which is going to take me along the rest of the horseshoe. You can see that there. And that should be considerably quicker and easier than the bit I've just done, but I haven't to play and it's been an absolutely fabulous walk and a lovely day. I think I've said lovely far too many times now so I'll, I'll stop, I promise. Well, I've been making my way across the, the broad Minford path now. It's much easier going. It's, it's gentle downhill and I'm getting some great views towards Barmouth and the Maudeck Estuary. So I'll just spin you around there and see if you can pick that up. Yeah, the mist, however, is blowing in, but it's making some very, very nice shapes with the mountains and the peaks. There's a lovely crag just behind me there. I think I'm going to shoot that. It's so quiet. It really is. And the mist has taken all the, the sound away. It's just me and the sheep, the other the walker. It's it's a very, very quiet day up here. Yeah, cleared again, <laughs> fleeting glimpses. Look at the valley below as well. Oh yes. Time for a quick still picture, I think. Well, I'm on the final leg now, looking down the valley towards the car park. It may take me about an hour, nothing of any photographic interest. So I'll probably stop the vlog here and maybe do a little bit later, but the GoPro is almost out of battery. I don't really want to change it, to be honest. I'm gonna have something more to eat. Sun's come out. I've had a, a really good morning, really enjoyed it. 
hope you've enjoyed watching this and back to the car it is